the math is fun, but what does the curl really mean? We kind of had a feeling for divergence. That means the creation of field. What does the curl mean? Let's look at some examples. So the curl, if I had to put it in words, I would say it is um, how much the field makes something twist. Okay. You'll see what I mean as we draw some fields. Let's start with um, a uniform field. So so let's say that V is 5 i hat plus 0 j hat plus 0 k hat. That's just a uniform field pointing to the right with magnitude 5. Right? So we could draw a field like that. These vectors, say, are 5 units long. And they're all the same size. They're all pointing in the x hat direction. Oh, let's do another layer. OK, so to decide sort of visually if something has curl, I like to just imagine drop a disk in it like this. Put in a disk, a little solid disk. Of course, we're thinking in two dimensions. It's really a three-dimensional field. But let's just do it and think about it in 2D. And ask yourself, will the disk start to twist? If we think of the field vectors as sort of frictional forces pushing on the sides of the disk, will it feel a net torque? Will it twist? That's what I mean. How much does the field make something twist? Okay. Here, you would say this doesn't look like it's going to twist. It has some vectors on this side kind of making it want to go around that way. It has some vectors on this side kind of making it want to go around that way. And since it's symmetric, they're equal and opposite, and they're just going to cancel out. So here, I would say it doesn't appear to have any curl. And mathematically, you're right. It's not going to have any curl, right? Because all those terms in the mathematical uh, in that determinant all were partial derivatives. So if you take partials of zeros or fives, you're going to get zero. Okay? So this, the curl, del cross v, is definitely zero in this case. So let's look at one that's not uniform. Let's look at a, a growing field. So let's see. Let's have v equal. Let's let it be some um, x. Let's just let it be x on the i hat plus 0, the j hat plus 0, k hat. So instead of 5, it's going to increase. We're going to have short vectors here, Oops. all small vectors where x is small. And then they get bigger as you move to the right. And they get even bigger as you move farther. They're just increasing with x. And they're doing it linear. And I don't know if I'm drawing them perfectly linear. And my voice is getting louder when they get longer. I'm not sure why. That's just for dramatic effect, I guess. So there it is, a growing field to the right. The field x i hat plus 0 plus 0. So let's do our thing. Let's drop in a disk, solid disk, and ask ourselves, is the disk going to feel a net uh, twist? And again, this one is not, because okay. it feels some vectors here pushing this way. It, the vectors are kind of growing. Maybe they're pushing a little hard here, harder here than here to make it want to twist. But the exact same thing's happening over here. So again, when I look at that and say, does that, is that giving me any twist? I would say no. It really isn't. And if you were to go through the, um, uh, if you were to evaluate the curl of this, mathematically, you would also get 0. Because remember, every one of those partial derivatives, it was taking the partial of one of the components, say the x component, with respect to z, or the x component with respect to y, or the y component with respect to z. They were always, or x, they were always crossed, right? So if we just have something in the x component that was going to have a partial, but it's with x, that's not, gonna, that's not in the curl, OK? So if you go through and do this curl, you'll still get del cross v. It's still 0. And in our little story here, it also appears to be 0. Let's do another one. It would seem to make sense to do one that does have a curl. All right. Let's do a field. I don't know what to call it, but I've given the other two names. So let's do one. Um, it's growing laterally. 
And what I mean by that is that it's v equals y i hat plus 0 j hat plus 0 k hat. This is probably the simplest field you can make that has some curl. So let's think, what would that look like? What we're saying is that the field still points in the x direction. Here's some little field vectors here. But as you go up in the y direction, they get bigger, like that. And there's another big one, but then they get smaller when you go down here. Another big one, they get smaller when you go down here. Okay. Um, you could also draw this with field lines. You could have a low density of lines down here, and the density is getting higher and higher up there. So I'm drawing it a little bit awkwardly here with um, just a little uh, quiver plot. But now, if I drop in my disk, you can see what's going to happen. Drop in my disk like this and ask ourselves, is that thing going to feel a twist? And now, maybe you can see that it is. We have big vectors here kind of pushing it around like that. We have little vectors here pushing back. So the net effect is it does feel a net twist on this object. And sure enough, if you were to do the uh, cross product, you would actually, or I'm sorry, the, the determinant to get the curl, you would actually have a value. Because on the term where you take uh, d dy, uh, or when you take dvx dy, here it is, it's 1. And that shows up on the i hat, so it ends up being, uh, or it shows up second in, in a list, so it's minus 1 is the answer in the k hat direction. So the curls are vectors, right? so it's a cross product. So in this case, uh, del cross v, the, the curl of v is minus 1 in the k hat direction. So that's telling you even something further, is that the curl of the field is what makes it something you want to twist. And then, as we often have in physics, the vector that you use to describe that is perpendicular to the, the plane of the, of the motion. In this case, it points in on the z-axis. It happens to be in. And there's even a right-hand rule. Look at that. It makes it curve this way, take our right hand, follow it around. Z has to be this direction in this case because we have x cross y. Z is, is out of the board. It's negative. It's into the board. Everything makes sense. Okay. So curl is not mean that the field is curvy. Okay. Here I've given you all three fields. In all three fields, the field was never curvy. It was always just straight lines. It was just simple linear functions or constants. But this one actually had a curl, even though the field always only points to the right. You can still get a curl. You can also get a curvy field that has no curl. So just when you see a field with the vectors kind of making smooth curves, don't assume there's going to be a curl. So let me give you a fourth field, which I have no pre-planned name for. I'm just going to call it the curvy field. But it's fairly simple. It's that v is x i hat plus y j hat plus 0 k hat. I certainly don't want to draw it in 3D. Okay. So let's think about that field for a second. Um, if we were to draw sort of an XY thing going on like that, well, it's always just XY. So if you go along this line, it just kind of grows. And if you go negative X, negative Y, it points down like that. And then if you go on these lines, it points in towards the origin like that, like that, and it points, um, I'm going to cheat, look at my notes, yes, points in when you come here, like that. That doesn't look curvy, but if you go and uh, add other vectors around it, you actually get that it kind of makes a very curvy looking thing. If you do a quiver plot of it, it kind of does stuff like this, and then they get bigger. Like that. That one goes that way. Uh, the top kind of goes like this. You get little vectors making paths like that. And on the right, it goes, yeah, the right would go up. Oh, yeah, it's going to follow this kind of pattern. So you get a little one like that. And then it gets bigger when you get farther away, of course, like that. And then this one comes around like that. So if you ever want to make this, I've seen some of you making very cool vector plots on MATLAB. It's a very curvy looking field. It's kind of curving around like this, curving around like that, like that, and like that. But mathematically, is zero. And you can see why. We only have x on the vx function. We only have y on the vy function. All those partial derivatives are going to be zero. 
you're not going to get any partial derivatives. So even though this is curvy, it's hard to, you know, really see it exactly, but if you were to drop a little puck in here, you might say, well, the field looks curvy. Surely it's going to spin, but actually, no, it doesn't. The curvy is not the same as a twist. If you look, this one's kind of pushing up and uh, would make it go this way, so it might go that way, but this vector is kind of making it go this way. But maybe you can see these weaker vectors that might make it twist less, they follow the contour better. Right? There's more of these small vectors making it want to push this way. There's less of these big vectors <coughs> making it want to push that way. And in the end, they'll cancel out if you work it all out mathematically because this field has no curl. It's just curvy. So curvy and curl are not the same thing. Very long explanation of that. <coughs>